Hey guys, Chad from Winning Tennis here, and I'm going to make a little bit of a different video today. This video is going to feature three amazing prospects that I've seen recently in the tennis world, and I wanna show them to you, because I think they're going to make waves in 2018, and you should start to get to know their names. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Nickname Mo, currently ranked at 152. He's been climbing the ranks steadily over the last three years. He began playing tennis at the age of three with his father, Tony, a former ATP and Nigerian Davis Cup player. At the age of 13, he moved to train at the IMG Academy in Florida, and in 2016, he won the USTA 18 Boys National Championship to earn a wild card into the main draw of the US Open. His best shot is his forehand, and his idol growing up was Andy Roddick. He's a good court mover with a big serve and a lethal forehand. He loves to play on hard court and has charisma and passion to turn heads, and I believe he is going to break into the top 100 within the next six months. His game is improving, and with more experience on the ATP Tour, he's only going to get better. He was able to beat formidable Misha Zverev only a few tournaments into his career. Keep your eyes out for Michael Moe. The next prospect to look out for in 2018 is Ibing Wu. Wu is of Chinese origin but trains in Madrid, Spain. He began playing tennis at age 6 to lose weight. His father was a boxer and works as a phys ed teacher which may explain why Wu is so athletically gifted. He moves like a gazelle on the court and his favorite player is Andy Murray. Wu claims his backhand is his favorite shot. Recently, he gave David Ferrer fits at Auckland, ultimately losing in a tiebreaker in the first and 6-4 in the second. He's been fast climbing the rankings going from 935 in the world at the start of 2017 to a current rank of 308. And while that doesn't seem high, it's a jump of over 600 points in one year. This all-court player has great potential, and I can see him moving up to inside the top 150 by year's end. Wu's only 18 years old, so he has time to develop, and working with the Spaniards, his game is sure to only get better and better. Our final prospect may turn out to be the best. His name is Liam Caruana, and he's from Rome, Italy. He's been climbing the rankings fast, going from 1,318 in the world at the end of 2016 to a current high rank of 397. At just 19 years old, Liam has time to develop, and I believe he will just keep getting better and better. Right now, he needs more experience playing tour-level matches as he's been fighting it out in the challengers. He made it into Auckland as a lucky loser and gave a great showing of himself against the high-ranking Steve Johnson, a player ranked 44 in the world. Not only did he look like he belonged on the big stage, he gave Johnson all he could handle in Auckland, losing 7-5, 7-6 in a close tiebreaker. Although he has the lowest rank of the three prospects, I believe he has the most potential due to his fluid strokes, great movement, and good volley game. His serve is also a big weapon, and I could see him moving close to the top 100 by the end of 2018 or first quarter of 2019. This kid is going to open a lot of eyes on the tour, and people are going to know his name for years to come. So watch out for Liam Caruana. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. I will be putting out more videos like this in the future, as well as many instructional videos so you can get better in the year 2018. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.